Hi, today we're gonna make a serrated bezel for this piece of Kingman turquoise. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is to cut our raw stock, um, measuring the height of the stone around the girdle here. Looks to be about three millimeter or so, but I have a piece of 18 gauge sterling silver that I'm going to mark to the proper height. And then I'm going to saw it rather than, uh, rather than use my shears, um, lubricate the saw with some beeswax and just follow my mark. Now I'll need to measure the stone, the circumference of the stone. I have a piece of gaff tape. Um, you can use gaff tape, you can use masking tape. On a stone that's a, not a uh, uniform shape, this is an easy way to get your length. And I'm going to put a mark. Where, where I need to cut. Actually the bezel material is just a little bit long so I think I'm going to cut it after I've done the serrations. To um, make the serrations I'm introducing a new tool um, this is a companion tool to the bez jaws. I call it top jaws. And the difference between the bez jaws and the top jaws are the top jaws have a narrower gap between the two jaws and they have a simple shelf that is about uh, a millimeter and a half deep and uh, that allows you to hold a pretty short piece of bezel material such as the one that I'm working with. To use the top jaws all you do is drop them into your vise. I use the GRS Benchmate vise and uh, but the top jaws and the bez jaws will work with any any bench vise, any type of vise you use. Now all I have to do is, is lock it down. I'm going to use the uh, use the tool to lock it down and that holds the bezel material upright and it's very secure and it gives me a, a nice surface to work from. I'm going to turn this a little bit and get my saw again. And all you do is with the top jaws holding the bezel material you take the serrated bezel indexing tool and place it on the end of the bezel and you start sawing. Um, I'm going to saw about uh, uh, five strokes, six strokes, and then <clears throat> once I've made my first mark, I drop the tab of the indexing tool into that saw mark and do it again. And then I move over always putting the tab of the tool into the most recent saw mark that I've made. The reason that I made the top jaws is it was difficult without having the the bezel raised above the jaws of my vise to avoid hitting the vise and you can see all the marks that I made before I started using the top jaws. Um, Anyway, makes it a little easier to uh, achieve your, your goal 
and it makes it uh, more comfortable as well. It's also nice not to be ruining your, your vice. These vices are $150, $170, something like that. So they're not terribly inexpensive. And the bezel indexing tool makes it very easy, especially when it's being held in the top jaws, to get perfectly spaced serrations on your bezel and to allow you to use a much thicker bezel material than you would typically be able to use because it's so much easier to bend the individual serrations rather than build, bend the material if it weren't serrated. I hope that makes sense. It's more like bending individual little pieces of wire, 18 gauge wire. It's pretty easy to bend, but if you were to try and bend this entire bezel over instead of the individual serrations, it would be almost impossible unless you were using a you know, pneumatic tool of some sort or you were very, very strong, which I'm not. Now I have serrations that are perfectly spaced along the top of that bezel. In a previous video I explained the purpose of the bez jaws. I'm going to use the bez jaws now. This is my prototype. It's a little bit oversized, uh, but I'm going to use the bez jaws to extend that those serrations uh, or the line of those serrations visually to extend the line across the across the face the outer perimeter of the bezel and uh, I need to be sure that I start in the same place I'm not sure which end was which so give me just a second there we go so the way the bez jaws work is you just snap your bezel into the bez jaws and uh, let me tighten it up a little bit this is pretty short and it falls down into a set of jaws that hold it hold it up above the the jaws and give you access to be able to to saw on the side and just as before we use the serrated bezel indexing tool to, as a place marker and we're going to saw about halfway through the material just you know three or four strokes all we're doing is we're providing a place for the tab of the tool to drop into that perfectly aligns with the top serration that we've already made because we're using the same tool as the as the tool to index with. The other thing that this does by extending the line um, visually, besides just being attractive, it makes the bezel easier to bend around the circumference of the stone. So it's a pra there's a practical reason for doing this is what I'm saying. But I really like the way that it looks.
So now that the bezel raw stock has been completed, all I need to do is to identify which one of these serrations match the actual length most closely. And I can see that it is this one. So I'm gonna cut the other, the two extra serrations off. Freshen that edge up so it'll be less work to solder it. And then I don't really need to worry too much about the shape of the stone yet. I'm just going to bend this in a circle and solder the ends together. After it's soldered together, then I'll shape it to match the stone. Of course, the closer the fit, the more perfect the fit, the less cleanup there will be and the easier it will be to solder. So take your time when you're doing this part. Make sure you have a nice flush meeting between the two ends of the bezel. Okay, that looks good to me. I'm gonna switch out my vise for my soldering station. I think I'm going to solder this from the inside because I can see the saw mark more clearly. Get you a little bit closer. Apply a little bit of flux on both the top and the bottom where the join will be. And drop my solder. Try to heat it slowly so it doesn't bounce my solder. I'm using hard solder. There we went. Didn't have my soldering pick in my hand as I should have. Now we'll drop that in the pickle. Let it sit for a minute. Hey, I just wanted to pop in while our bezel is in the pickle. If you like the video, then please hit uh, thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll be trying to put more of these type videos out to show you how to use the tools that I manufacture. If you're interested in the tools that I'm using, just uh, go to the link below in the description. Have a great day.